Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Yeah, fans, ACs needed the past couple of days. Today included, even with the high clouds and some of that smoky haze up there, those temperatures still above average, up to 87. The top temp in town, morning start of 63, at least the humidity was nice and low and boy that's key this time of year especially when we're having temperatures in the 80s and even the low 90s the dew point 55 very very comfortable when you see that number reach the middle the upper 60s even the 70s that's when it gets oppressive out there very very muggy the good news none of that high humidity looks to be on the way right now it's 48 percent the current temperature in town a very comfortable 76 degrees. That's the downtown region. You go outside, it drops off in a hurry. We're talking upper 50s, low 60s in southern Indiana, up the I-71 corridor with upper 60s and low 70s across the remainder of the Commonwealth. It's going to be a very comfortable overnight period with just a little bit of haze in the atmosphere. Again, you can see very, very quiet conditions across the region on this Monday night. What you don't see is some of that haze, some of that smoke from the wildfires way up in Canada. It's going to be around again from time to time tomorrow. But again, no rainfall tonight nor tomorrow. All of that is off to the southwest or the west at least for now. I do think that's going to change. There are very, very uh, uh, good uh, signals coming in from the data, if you will, that we're going to get some decent rain in here on Wednesday, and it's going to come from this cold front now slipping across the Great Lakes region. It's moving slow. It's crawling, but eventually it'll pass through here during the day Wednesday, and with it, the rain chance. Now, no rain tonight nor tomorrow morning. We're dry. And we're going to be cool in the morning, anywhere from 55 to 60 across the better part of the area. Yes, a lot of sunshine, no question about it. But you know what? Don't expect bright blue skies tomorrow. In fact, this is the smoke we're expecting in the atmosphere. And where you see the yellows, the oranges, the reds, notice some of that smoke could be moderate to even dense from time to time tomorrow afternoon. So kind of that haze it will be continuing. Otherwise, here's the good news. We need the water, we need it badly, and it looks like we're going to get decent rain chances. Impact weather will be slipping into the region on Wednesday. Check it out, here's the future cast. Very high chances for rainfall. Scattered showers are likely for the better part of the morning and early afternoon before the activity winds down later in the day. I mean, this isn't gonna be a huge soaking, but any little amount helps at this point in the game. Most areas will likely see a quarter to maybe three quarters of an inch of rain during the day Wednesday. Of course, I'll have an update on this for you during the day tomorrow. After the rain, more beautiful weather slated by the end of the work week. Here's our forecast overnight tonight. Fair, hazy, cool temperatures at 60 in town, 50s in the outlying regions. Another great day tomorrow, just some more of that haze in the atmosphere temperatures topping out at a warm 87 seven day forecast look at that 75 on wednesday as showers will be likely the dry air moves back in late day that sets the stage for some wonderful conditions thursday friday as we move into the weekend vicky the pick is saturday 88 great weather for outdoor activities because more rain showers are likely to move in on sunday well, my water bill will like that because it was quite high this month. Yeah, everybody's, and it's very, very dry, so we need the water. We need it badly. We're getting into kind of a drought situation, so any little amount's going to help. It's really nice out there the last yeah, few days. It is.